How's it going everyone? My name is Basie and welcome to another video. In this video, I want to be talking about gas masks and helmets and just questioning why hasn't it been added in the game already. Of course, it's widely requested by the community. And they've kind of dangled the carrot a little bit there with the Amber Sky live event. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. But first, I want to say do hit subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll be making plenty more videos based on Ghost Recon Breakpoint in the near future. And of course, if there's going to be a year two to the game, I will be making plenty of videos on that as well. Let's get straight into this thing. So as I said, the Amber Rim live event kind of dangled the carrot a little bit, luring us in a little bit and trying to attract us to, you know, play this live event because it's got this helmet and gas mask thing. Of course, there's loads of other things which are within this live event, which are absolutely amazing. But one of those things was being able to use these two things at once. Of course, we have had the heavy duty gas mask and we've also had the gas mask, which is within the store. We've been wanting to use that for quite some time with helmets and that's just not been a thing which they've added. And I think that the Amberoon Light event was one of those times which I think Ubisoft could have definitely done something and went a step further and actually adding this feature to the game. I think Amberoon live event was also a great chance to add more cosmetics into the game as well. Of course we've had like a few cosmetics, so we've had like the the Ash, Finker, Thatcher and then all the other cosmetics which you can get in the, the buyable store should I say, where you actually have to spend proper money to be able to buy stuff. But not much really came in like Maria's shop, I think it was like 11 items plus I don't know 30 patches or something like that. I think a little bit more should have came out of that and I hope maybe they'll add some more things in the future. But I think it was a great chance to, you know, add loads of cosmetics to the game and of course add this feature into the game by adding, you know, more masks which are usable. And of course the heavy duty mask isn't usable and the one which is within the store isn't usable properly within these kind of gas areas which doesn't really make sense in my head really. I don't know why they would add these two masks as solely cosmetic and have absolutely no impact on the way you play and the fact that you automatically put a mask on when you go into these areas. It takes a mask off to maybe put another mask on. That doesn't really make sense. I haven't experimented with the Finca costume. I don't know if you can maybe go into these gas areas because Finca's got like a, a gas mask already. I don't know if you can go into these areas and basically it wouldn't like change the the mask. I'm not too sure. Someone might be able to comment down in the comment section there telling me otherwise. But really, like this was an amazing chance for Ubisoft to add this feature into the game. And I think the as I said earlier, they've dangled the carrot, they've lured us in and kind of I don't know, if it invited us in to make it seem like we are going to get this feature and we haven't had it and I think that's a bit of a shame really but maybe they'll take the advice from of course this video and all the advice that's coming from the forums, Reddit, Twitter, all the different social medias where Breakpoint's been talked about anyways and hopefully they take that advice and add this feature into the game and of course loads of other things that have came out of this. Of course we had the Darkest Night feature which came out in title update 3.0.3 I believe it was and loads of things came out of that but weren't you know improved like such as enemy detection. Why hasn't that been improved regarding Darkest Night? If you're using Darkest Night you shouldn't be like detected instantly like you would be within like daylight. Simple little features that add up to a big picture I think go a long way when it comes to Ghost Recon Breakpoint and if they add in these features I think it's going to totally improve the game compared to how it was within launch. Of course it's absolutely amazing compared to launch. They've done an amazing job with kind of overhauling the whole game. As I say there's always going to be improvements even if they do make a perfect game and I'm hoping you know one of these little features anyways is the gas mask and helmet and utilizing them at the same time. Also on NVGs like within photo mode as well that's another thing which you know, a little features which definitely improve the game and little things which I think they should put the a little bit of time into and, you know, improve the game that way. But anyways, that's kind of 
a small rant that it hasn't been added to the game a little bit uh, but you know I, I think it was worth making a video based on this because it is a feature which has been asked for plenty of times over on the forums I've been just looking at the forums and taking kind of notes on what things people want basically I was thinking about making a video based on just generic things which people have been asking for like little features maybe do a top 5 or top 10 or something along those lines and you know send that over to Ubisoft and hopefully we'll get a few things added but anyways that is the end of the video do hope you have enjoyed do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that like button it's greatly appreciated at the end of the day also hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload plenty more content coming on its way I do hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you have enjoyed my other content if you have seen that if you haven't already do go check out all my other content and I guess I'll see you next video cheers